happy day, happy Monday. I hope this um, Coffee Cove conversation finds you well. Um, I am excited for summer. <laughs> I feel our, it's never going to get here. Um, my kids still go to school until June 11th, so we've not yet started our summer schedule, but I am excited to. Um, so uh, that is a new phase, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys today about, new phases in life. And so I found a coffee mug here in the church I was rummaging. It had a little house on it with a little heart and it said home is where our feet may leave but not our hearts. That's so cute. So cheers. So um, before I started working here I um, was got the privilege of joining Beth at the next conferences. They're usually over in Lancaster and they're super fun. Um, they have a lot, just like a day of kind of refreshment, just to kind of pour into you, get new ideas. And so I had signed up for this awesome class. It was about science experiments. And I was like, how cool is that? I can blow stuff up in church. And it's going to be science experiments pointed to God. And they're going to have religious meanings. And um, it's going to be great. I'm gonna show the kids all of this fun stuff that I learned. But I got to the class. And they switched it on me. So it was called Just a Phase, the new class that they were going to teach. And so, but you know, God only always knows what you need. And so I actually found the class very interesting. Um, and it has such good information for not just like where I was at at the time, which was two years ago, but like just life in general and just kids. And so, um, I, I'm going to be attaching this awesome calendar that I got while I was there. It's called Phase, a time frame in a kid's life when you can leverage a distinctive opportunities to influence their future. Um, and this thing is like just jam packed full of, of good stuff, but it tells you like what their um, stages of their life and like what they're thinking and what's driving them. And so like, just to quickly go over like the baby one. So from zero to four years old, they think like an artist. They, their main concerns are, am I safe? Am I able? Am I okay? Um, and then they're motivated by safety, embracing their physical needs. And then they, um, they want to meet God's family and, and know God's love. And so it's like important to sing um, and sing to them, you know, Jesus loves me, all those, those um, little songs to them over and over again, repeat scripture over them, tell them that God loves them and just so that they know and that gets deeply rooted into them. And then it also goes through here, like it tells you their wander, they have a high wander, um, wander and excitement and discovery is right in the middle and then their passion is very low because they haven't developed that yet to where you know if you go all the way here at the bottom where it's ninth through 12th grade their passions are really high because at that point they're like I want to go I got freedom I want to do this 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 and this and so their passion is super high and so they are motivated by freedom then. And so it just, it's, I'm telling you this thing, I never get tired of reading it. It's got like such good stuff about telling you what to pray for them and what to repeat in um, Bible scriptures and different things like that and what fuels them. And so it goes through different things, um, medical, mental and physical changes. Um, and so I think this is just a key thing when, you know, we're talking about leaving one grade, going to the next, or just going through different phases. And, so the other thing he talked about was parental influence. Like how many hours do you like really have a parental influence? And so he put it down to from zero to four years old, you have 12 hours of influence, morning time, um, drive times, bath times, cuddle times, any of those times where you're engaging with your child. Those are all times that you have to influence your child. Um, and sadly it goes and decreases each time. And so 
when we're talking about um, kindergarten through fifth grade, six hours of influence is like cut in half. Ugh. Because at that point, they're getting more influences from kids at school, their friends, um, people in their neighborhood that they play with. So you have six hours, morning time, drive time, meal time, and bedtime. And so, and Nedra always warned me that the car is when kids feel most comfortable talking. And I will tell you that is definitely the case for my family. We have brought up some very crazy, riveting conversations in the car. Um, the kids feel very free in the car. Um, but one of the things that we just entered with our oldest daughter, Evie, is a new phase. Um, and we've started to do table conversations um, where um, every night, uh, usually it's a Tuesday night um, that works best for us in our family. But after I put Robbie and Ava to bed, um, me and Rob will go into Evie's room and we'll sit down and we'll all have a conversation about anything that she wants to bring up things that maybe she heard that she doesn't understand, thoughts and opinions of others that she doesn't understand, uh, things that happened that she doesn't understand, why things are a certain way, or thoughts and opinions that she has that she doesn't understand because there's a lot of them. Um, and then we also bring some things that maybe we've seen um, this past um, time we brought up, stuff we were really proud of her for doing. She. Evie is very gifted at helps and serving others. And she is very good at engaging other people and especially a younger age than her um, and getting them involved in whatever's happening. And she she does that flawlessly most of the time. Um, she has a little more trouble with siblings. And so that's one of the things that we talked to her too about um, is how to engage with her siblings and like how to talk to them. Um, and different ways of having more patience with them. Um, and so this is a time where we are open. Rob and I are open to discuss anything we want to bring to the table. And Evie is open uh, to discuss anything she brings to the table. And it's not a critical time. It's a discussion time. And it's also not a reprimanding time. Um, this is a positive experience for all involved. And it's a time where... Um, she can bring up those things and it's not going to be thrown back in her face. And she knows that it's a safe place where she can have a discussion. And so we are really enjoying it. It's been, it's been fun. Sometimes we don't always have something to talk about. So we play Would You Rather or we play Uno or we play Skippo. It's those things that, you know, eventually, hopefully will get us more parental influence in the future that we can continue talking and have open conversations. I know with my friend Jody, she's the one who kind of gave me this whole system is like she even, you know, before her kids graduated high school, like they had to come down to the table with like next week, you need to come with five colleges that you want to go to and why you want to go to them or why you think that they would be good ones to apply to. And you know, and so as you get on, those discussions are going to change and those things that you talk about are going to change. But that time is always going to remain the same. And and kids really value that one on one time. And it shows I know for Evie, it's definitely she's got this air of confidence just because she has this special thing with us right now um, that she gets to do because she's older and we can have those conversations with her. And she is really enjoying it. And so I am really enjoying getting to hear from her things that I wouldn't normally get to hear um, and bring Jesus into all that. And so that we can look at it through the lens of Jesus and say, what, what, what would God say about you and the situation? And what would, um, what would Jesus um, want to say in the situation? And we can give her scripture to back up certain things that we're talking about. We can also table it for next time like, hey, that's really great and I don't have an answer for you today, but I'm going to dive into God's word and I'm going to pray about it and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. And so I think it's really important. So I pray for great connections between you and your kids um, and I hope you have a great week.